Good morning, everybody. I hope everyone is well. We will be working on a 20 inch by 20 inch canvas today. And um, I'm either going to do a galaxy pour or a kiss galaxy pour or something like that or a double, who knows? I'm still up in the air on either of those. But uh, the first thing I want to address is the three do's and three don'ts will be um, airing again, either end of June, beginning of July. Um, and I did not call out somebody in my last video um, as I had uploaded it before I had figured out who I was going to challenge. So um, Julie Vatcher, I challenge you to the three do's and three don'ts. I do hope that you um, accept. I think this is gonna be really, really great. Um, for those of you who don't know, Rinska and I have been challenging other artists um, every few months um, doing the three do's and three don'ts. And that means uh, there's three things you have to do um, or use, and there's three things that you can't or don't, don't use. For example, don't use gold, don't do a swipe technique, don't do anything. And I have a kitty that will not go away. <laughs> so bear with me for one second. You're all done. All right. Just trying to keep her from coming in front of the canvas. Um, anywho, so let's get down to pouring. I mixed my paints last night. So my paints are, um, for the most part, mixed two to one, two parts Floetrol to one part paint. And with my white, I also added a bit of satin enamel to it um, to get some beautiful results. My other colors are Cobalt Blue by Golden and my paint is so thick that the stick will stand up on its own inside. I also have Prussian Blue by Golden, Deep Violet, which I mixed up a while ago, but I still have some, so it's been about a week. Nickel Azo Gold, which I think is just fabulous. And I have Deco Art Extreme Sheen Gold, and it is a little thick. Also, um, the Extreme Sheen paint, I typically mix one to one. So let's, uh, oops. I feel like I'm gonna make a mistake if I do it this way. So I'm going to do a little bit of white in each bottom. And then a little bit of gold. I'm not gonna pour it in. I'm just gonna drizzle it over because, well, that's how it goes. Come in with Prussian blue. And I'm not gonna fill my cups all the way up because I didn't need to. I don't want 36 ounces of paint on the canvas, way too much. Um, 
white. So let's come in with, yeah, we'll do some gold. Do a little bit of white on top of the cobalt. All right, so that's about all I'm going to do. And I'm gonna pour my puddle in the middle. Okay. All right, I think we're ready. So the paint will kiss maybe in the beginning, but after that, it shall not because I'll have to separate the cups. So here we go. Is super pretty. I wish I could bring you guys in to see that. I need the torch. Even though I mixed my paints last night, the bubbles, um, due to the force of the pouring, will show up. Look how beautiful that is. It is gorgeous. Um, so we'll definitely bring you guys in after we finish the pour. All right, so now I want to Move this around a bit. These 
sort of see a face, like an owl's face right here. Um, okay, so we are going to put a little bit of white. All my white has been mixed the same, two parts Floetrol, one part paint, and a little bit of satin enamel. Um, you don't need it to use it. You don't need to use it as a flow extender, but because I already have it mixed up, I just use it. So we'll spread out this paint. All right, so what we're going to do is, I want to move this a little. This is just gorgeous in here and in here, but I'm gonna lose that, unfortunately. Um, but we'll see how it comes. And, you know, you can take your time tilting. You don't always have to rush it around on the canvas. So that's what I'm going to do. And this face in here is just crazy cool. Just bring it back to center. I don't know if you guys can see it, but two, oop, I'm going to drip. <laughs> two eyes and like a beak or something here. Um, all right. So we're going to come up here. These colors are amazing together. Trying to figure out which way to go love this area so I think I'm going to come down here I'm going to recenter my paint though I don't want to go over this area. Let me see what I can get. Pushing it to the limits. And I'm gonna bring it back real fast.
Oh yeah. This piece um, is probably one of my favorite pieces. <clears throat> I'm not gonna stretch it out any further. I'm gonna leave it just as is. Um, I wasn't sure how this color combination would work out, but uh, I think it worked beautifully. So we're gonna bring you guys in. Okay, here we are. Oh, that nickel as a gold is amazing. Look at that area. Look at those colors. It's so cool. I am so happy I tried this. I am going to do another one tonight. I'm gonna come over here. I'm super pleased, very happy. Still sort of looks like an owl, maybe not, <laughs> I don't know. But all I can see were two eyes here and like this little beak. Um, maybe looking at it this way, I'm not sure, who knows. Uh, but I'm loving this, I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Um, be sure to keep your eyes peeled for the three do's and three don'ts in about a couple, uh, few weeks. And uh, what else? I don't know. Follow me on Facebook and I will be having an auction um, coming up soon. And I hope you will join me. All right. Have a great day, guys. Thanks.